Okay, now we've moved on to a masonry opening with a double window that's mauled together now. Measuring the openings inside and outside is more important on a block structure or masonry structure than it is a frame, so you have to pay close attention. Okay, the first step is measuring your opening inside, width, and height, and diagonally to make certain the opening is square. On a masonry opening, it's important to, when you have a double or triple window, that you allow for the mole bars on the inside. The three inch mole bar and the four inch mole bar take up an inch and three eighths on the inside. On the five and a half inch mole bar, the mole takes up two inches on the inside when you're measuring the inside of the building. If you're going by tip dimensions on the outside of the building, when you use a three or four inch mole bar, it only takes up an eighth of an inch on the outside. On the five and a half inch mole bar, it takes up five eighths of an inch on the outside when using your tip dimensions. So that's important when you measure inside and outside. You need to know how much space your mole bar is gonna take up. The next step is to cut the drywall or the caulking away from the window that you're removing on the inside. Now we're on the exterior of the masonry wall. We're going to cut the caulking loose and then remove the window. Okay, now we've removed the window, exposing the precast seal on the bottom, exposing the bevel buck with the drywall butted into it on the heads and on the seal. What we recommend is removing the bevel buck and cutting back the drywall on the inside to install the three inch PVC window. You also need to mark the drywall where you're going to cut the drywall to remove it for the additional depth of the PVC window. The PVC window will be three inches deep compared to most aluminum windows, which is two inches deep when you remove them. So you must remove the drywall. The smaller piece is the bevel buck that was removed. This is the three inch buck that's going back in that supports the whole PVC frame of the window. Before applying the new buck strips, the three inch buck strips, you apply two rows of caulking to the buck strip before you install the bucks. Next step is make certain you use the proper length tap con so you have an inch of cord embedment into the concrete. Okay, now the new three inch buck is installed and caulked in place. You measure the opening in the width to find the center of the opening where your mole goes. You knock out the lip on the precast seal and then pre-drill your mole clips. To pre-drill the mole clips, first measure and position the mole and clips over the center of the sill. Mark the holes, then pre-drill. We have an adjustable mole clip. When you drill your holes in the sill and in the head to install your mole clips, use the center of the slot. That way you can adjust the clip back and forth to get your window in the opening. When installing the mole, you need to install your vertical flange cover and it slides in the top. When you slide it in, you need to caulk it on both sides before you install the window. The next step when installing the mole clip, the mole slides over the top piece. It needs to be caulked around the perimeter before you install it and underneath the mole clip before you install it. As you can see, we've got the mole clip anchored in four points and caulked in place. The plate is caulked and the mole is caulked. As per our mulling instructions, the mole clips the wood goes over the mole clips, therefore the wood must be notched on the bottom or the top to go over the mole clip. When you install your buck in the head, it will go over and cover your mole clip. What we're doing now is installing the buck on the bottom on the precast seal. 
to level at the top of the lip on the sill. That way it supports the weight of the PVC window, all three inches of it. Like the top and the sides, it needs, the buck strip needs to be caulked with two rows of caulking to keep out any water penetration. Okay. Then we know it won't move. You must have a tapcon long enough to make an inch and a quarter embedment into the masonry opening. The next step is to caulk the flange of the window on all four sides. Now we're caulking the mall clip on the seal and on the head of the window. Don't be afraid to be generous. Make certain when you caulk the bottom here that you do the same thing at the head on the mall clip. We recommend leaving in the shipping clips until the window is installed into the opening. Now that we've got the window in the hole, we will check it, make certain it's plumb level and square. The mole itself, we will tap over to take up, take up any excess room that we have in the width. And Russell's going to do that now. Go ahead. What we're doing now is drilling holes in the bottom of the sill of the window. We have a three quarter inch hole. Then we drill our hole for our tap con, drill the hole, back it out, blow it off, fill the hole with caulking, put our tap con in, and then put caulking over the top of that. We have a 3 16 tap con going in the sill of the window only. It has a half inch stainless steel washer backed up with a neoprene on the bottom to help get a secure seat. We have the holes caulked already. We're going to install the tap con and we're going to caulk the top of the tap con after we get it secured. These special tap cons with the washers and the plugs are included with every window to go into the seal only of the windows. The last step is to cover the tap gun holes with three quarter inch plugs. You need to make certain you have the proper length tap cons to make an inch and quarter embedment into the block in every opening and every hole that you have in the perimeter of the window. And then after you've caulked it on the moles and behind all four sides of the flange, that you perimeter caulk it after the installation to complete the seal around the window. After your window's installed in the opening, your mole's installed, you need to screw the mole together with the mole screws that come with the mole kit. After your windows are mulled together and the mole screws are in place, you put the mole cover on the inside and you tap it on with a rubber mallet. 